In this video, I'm going to talk about the use callback hook, which is a hook that almost nobody uses correctly. So I'm going to show you how to use it right so you don't make those same mistakes. Also, if you want to learn everything you need to know about React in depth, make sure to check out my full React course I have linked down in the description below. Let's get started now. Welcome back to Web Dev Simplified. My name's Kyle, and my job is to simplify the web for you so you can start building your dream project sooner. So if that sounds interesting, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. Now to get started, I have some really basic React code set up that allows us to toggle the theme on the right from dark to light. And also we can change this number input and it's going to change the list of numbers that are displayed down here. And I wanna go over this code really quickly just so you can understand what's working and why we need to use the use callback hook to fix some problems with this code. So the very first component I have is this basic app component. And inside of here, I have states set up for both the number input, that's this number input over here, as well as my dark slash light theme input. And this just gets toggled when we click on this button. Then I have a single function called get items. You can kind of imagine that this is a function that calls out to some API somewhere and then returns to us some results. But since I don't want to create an entire API for this, all this does is return to us three numbers, it's going to be the same number as what's in our input, one number larger than that, and then one number larger than that one even. So it's gonna give us a sequence of three numbers in a row. Then we have our theme down here. This just allows us to change from dark to light. And then finally, we're rendering this all out where we have a div that contains our theme. And then we have the input that allows us to change our number by just coming in here and changing this number from whatever we want it to be. A button that allows us to toggle our theme and then the real important code here is this list component, which takes in this function called get items and displays out these items. So if we go to this list component, you can see this is very straightforward. We have some state for our actual items. We have a use effect, and this use effect gets called every time this get items function changes. So every single time that we update our get items function, it recalls our use effect to get our new items. That's how we're able to here get this new list of items every single time we change our number input. And we're also just logging out here that we're updating our items. So if we come over and we just inspect with our inspection tool here, go to the console. And if we change our number, we should see here we get printed out updating items. So if we change this, you can see it's printing out updating items. That's exactly what we would expect. But a problem that we're going to run into is when we click on toggle theme, you're going to see it also calls that updating items and logs that out. And this is a problem, and this can be fixed with the use callback hook. And if you haven't already watched my use memo hook video, I highly recommend you check that out first because a lot of these concepts are similar. So I'll link that in the cards and description down below. But essentially, the reason we're running into this problem is because this get items function inside of our app component here is being recreated every single time we render our app component. So every single time we change this number, this function is being recreated over and over and over and over again. And since it's being recreated as a brand new function, when it gets passed into our list, this is a new function each time our component gets rendered, which means that every single time it's going to be different, even if the actual number itself didn't change. And this is where we want to use the use callback hook. So what use callback does is just like use memo, it's not going to rerun the code inside of it unless certain parameters change, and that means that every single time we call our app component here, this get items function is only going to update when it actually needs to. For example, when this number changes. So let's import here, use callback. And this has the exact same signature as use memo. So we'll just wrap our function in use callback. And we know that the second parameter to this use callback is going to be our array of dependencies. And as you can see, the only thing this depends on is our number object. So we can put number inside of here. If we save, you should see everything over here works exactly the same as before. But one major difference is when we inspect our code, go to the console, and we change our number, you can see it correctly updates our items. But when we toggle our theme, it doesn't actually update our items. And the reason for this is because this use callback only recreates our get items function when the number changes, and it's not going to recreate that when this dark variable changes. And if you are familiar with use memo, you'll notice that this code looks very similar to use memo. But the one big difference between use memo and use callback is that use memo, it takes a function and it's going to return to you the return value of that function. 
but use callback is different. It takes a function, but that is actually what the use callback returns. So in this example here, where if we had use memo instead of use callback, what would happen is get items would be just set to this array here instead of being set to this entire function. While with use callback, since we're returning the actual function we pass to it, get items is being set to this entire function and not just the return value of that function which allows us to use this as a function later on in our application here, where we actually call get items. And this allows us to actually pass parameters to this function. Let's say we wanted to pass a parameter five here, and we're gonna increment every single number inside of here by five. Well, since this use callback just returns this function here, we can just have the first parameter of this function inside of use callback be that number. So we can just say incrementer, just like that, or incrementer. And then all we do is just say number plus incrementer. We're going to do plus incrementer here and plus incrementer here. And now every number in this list is going to be five greater than it would have been before because we're passing this incrementer in from our get items here. We could change this to one and now everything's going to be one greater than it would have been before. And this is something you can't really do with use memo because use memo doesn't return the function. It only returns the value of the function while use callback is returning to us this entire function. And the only reason you would ever want to use this use callback hook is if you need to worry about referential equality, which is very similar to why you would use use memo. So as you can see here, this get items changes every time because we create a brand new function. But with use callback, we're not creating a new function unless we need to. So the referential equality of get items from the first time it rendered and get items the next time it renders is going to be the same as long as our number input here doesn't actually change. The only other instance that I could think of where use callback would be useful is if for some reason creating a function is really, really slow. If for some reason the function that you're creating is slow to create, then you would want to use use callback so that you only create that function when you need to and not recreating it every single time you render. But that's something that you're probably never ever going to run into so I really wouldn't worry too much about that. Really, this is more so about when you have referential equality problems, and almost always that's going to be when you're using some other hook, like use effect or use memo, where you need to have that value inside of the dependencies array. And that's all there is to the use callback hook. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out my full React course linked down below, where you can learn everything you need to know about React. And also, thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you have a great day.